everybody, I'm David Wood for Bagham TV. We're on his way today to Airfield Lakes for the Open match. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. And we're on his way to uh, the Open match. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Airfield Lakes. Uh, I fished on Sunday at the Feeder Masters and did all right. So, yeah, we'll see what it's like. There's been quite a lot of matches on over the weekend. It's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at Airfield. So, it's been fishing uh, quite well. And today we've got a bit of a <clears throat> bit of a cooler day. It's going to, only going to get up to about 10 degrees, 11 degrees. So it's not going to be very warm. But uh, and I think they're on about. We're going to have some rain. So we'll just have to see what the weather's going to be like. But it's going to be one of them. There's, there's that, it was just supposed to be on Island Lake, you know me, I love Island Lake, but I'm not a massive fan of um, Big Adams or Little Adams. And because that many booked on, they put Big Adams in and all, so I'm not a massive fan of that. But, listen, is what it is. See where we get drawn. <clears throat> you know me, I'd prefer to be on Island, but... We'll still catch a few on uh, Big Adams and all what, what I'm doing really, so by the way, I think I know what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I brought everything again, brought the kitchen sink, we'll see what happens, see what I decide to do. But um, yeah, looking forward to it, another open match, we're on the road again, aren't we? Uh, just wanted to say a massive thanks to all the members that have joined just recently uh, and if you want to become a member hit that join button and uh, don't forget to subscribe more videos on the way so I hope everyone had a good bank holiday weekend I watched the boxing uh, I told you I told you Parker would win didn't I um, yeah so I enjoyed the boxing uh, Saturday night and um, yeah Excellent bank holiday weekend. What have we got coming up? I don't know what we've got coming up. I might have a week off next week. Not. Yeah, so let's get there now. Super excited. Let's go, baby. <clears throat> See you soon. Right, here we are. We've drawn peg 81 on Big Adams. I didn't say I wanted to draw on Adams, but um, it does look quite nice, and we've got plenty of room as well. So I'll just take a look. 81 is next to the bridge. Well, that's 82 on the bridge, but they don't normally put them in. Um, so we've got that down there, lovely margin. So I think what I'm going to do, because I've not brought the pole like a fool, I'm just going to underarm a method down there. Um, and then we're just going to fish Waggler and bomb straight out in front. And I've done with it really. There's not much more that uh, I can do. Um, I've got my bait, bait already. I've got my 8 mils. I've got some more 8 mils and some micros already done up. Um, just put some pellet oil on them. Wafters already. New reddens. 
couple of spare feeders that what have you um, yeah these pellets they're very very light so I like to put a bit of a <coughs> oil on them um, and it just makes them brings them around darker a bit and gives them that attraction um, and then I've done some micras um, and obviously I've done my red pellets as well with my uh, krill um, and that is it really oh in the old snap box we've got look at this it's like a milkshake chocolate milkshake uh, drink water proper man crisps oh look at these I can reach them snack attack that's for me bro. I've had a nice bacon sauna here bacon egg sausage what did I have a best um, then I've got oh these are nice squares two it says there two I might, should have wrote my name on shouldn't I David mine and then uh, man's chocolate bar not for girls as Gracie uh, doesn't like the saying so I'm gonna have that now have a drink I've got a bit of hay fever so that's it yeah it's looking all right we'll uh, see what happens Alan's got on over there on his own look uh, a few over there I think Lee Kerry's over there and uh, Robin has just drawn the corner look over there so he'll be chucking there he'll probably win it from there or Robin go forth the owner so that is it that's my setup look three rods waggler method feeder and bomb we don't mess about so uh, hopefully it uh, it'll go around and we'll have 200 pound Let's get cracking. That's us. We're all in.
it's got worse and I'm afraid that it's absolutely caning it down with rain. Sorry if the picture's not very good, but um, it is absolutely terrible. God, it's steaming up, isn't it? Uh, see if I can wipe that camera any better. Mm, I still say. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, I've only had two cars. Coming into the last two hours, guy next door's had three. Um, and them on that side are catching up there. Um, guys packed up there and gone on, but they're getting odd crassy or what have you. I'm just not getting anything at all. Um, the next door has had three carp and uh, yeah I've had two but uh, it's changed the weather's changed for the worse and uh, it's yeah it's, it's absolutely terrible to be honest I'm oh, nearly going to swear then it's that bad um, I don't know why just, it's just nowhere it's fishing really well at the minute and uh, all I need is that tip to just sling round and uh Get a couple of them big boy carp into. I think just knocked them, didn't it? In last uh, last couple of hours, so I'm gonna concentrate on the short line. I think there's nothing more. I can't catch a bloody thing long. Um, I know they're to right. I'm catching odd creasio and what have you and and what have you. But uh, you're probably gonna need about sixty pound to win our section, and I've got no bloody chance to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to carry on this, see how we go, hope you can hear me over this wind and um, yeah, keep going, that's all we can do and hopefully we'll get a few more bites and a couple more fish and then uh,
see, finally got in the car, absolutely wet through. Well, I've been all right, like, because I've had my suit on, but cold, my hands are wet through my hat. Um, terrible, terrible day. <laughs> I thought, when, when I first got there, I thought, bloody hell, there's loads of fish moving, loads of fish topping, and I thought, get ready. And I ended up putting three nets in, and I thought, I don't want to be getting up getting another net in and I actually thought perhaps you know I thought we were going to have 100 pound I said to Stu next to us we're going to have 100 pound here he's like yeah I know I'm like come on get ready anyway <clears throat> that didn't work out did it <clears throat> um, I've ended up catching two early on one on the bomb uh, one short and then nothing throughout the middle of the match nothing at all through the middle of the match just couldn't get a bite uh, I had a few liners and what I would try at Waggler they just didn't want to come to that feed and I was chucking feeding 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 all the time and then further up the guys next door he just started chucking them eyebrow out eyebrow out and uh, he started getting a few carassios and a few small carp so I've cut all that feed out and I thought they don't want feeding and a uh, bit of a mistake there of feeding and feeding and feeding uh, normally, you, you know, that's the way to go at Airfield, but absolute terrible. So, um, yeah, I've ended up with two late fish and I've ended up with £30. Uh, the guy next to me, Stewie, had three chucked back. Uh, the guy above me, he went home. The, get, the next guy, he ended up having £50, I think. And I think he's ended up winning that. He said he had about £70. Well, I don't know where he's got that from. He must have been uh, deluded. Anyway. Um, it's been alright in the end. I've enjoyed it, even though it's been terrible weather conditions. Raining, windy. Uh, I'd have loved to have been on island today, um, and I reckon I'd have, I'd have done better, miles better on island, but um, it is what it is, isn't it? It was beautiful this morning, it was like a blooming sunny summer's day this morning, and then suddenly, bam, uh, 11 o'clock come, and it's absolutely slammed it down with rain and everything. So that's it, I have no idea who's won it, I think Alan Scott on one hour lake with £89. So well done Al, um, and on the other lake I think Jensen, I can't remember his say, Schofield, I think he's done quite well as well, said that he's caught on Waggler and he's, he thinks he's got about £100 I think, he, says he's, he said he's won his lake anyway so I um, reckon he's done alright, I think Oliver had like £50 and Paul Wright he had £50 and what have you so, or £60, so it's been quite tough been very hard on on the lakes but it's due to weather conditions in it it is what it is so that's it I stuck it out in the end I were gonna pack up and go on but I thought yeah I stick it out you know um, see if I can catch a few big boys later on and I end up catching two more and and that were it really so I've had a nice day and uh, yeah, so that's it. I think Alan Scott owns one I late, like I said, and uh, Jensen's one uh, island late. That's what I've heard. If I do get the results, I'll put them up for you. To be honest, I don't give a <laughs> one. I just want to get home and get uh, get warm. And uh, that's it. Ta-ra. <laughs> right. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe up to the cha channel. Um, and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. That is it guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this one, whoa, we'll see you soon, keep on bagging.